To set up your Loop Deck Live, go to the Loop Deck website and download the Loop Deck software. Make sure that all related applications are closed during the installation process. A third-party antivirus software might flag the installer as some items need to be installed to folders with admin-only access. In this case, please deactivate it momentarily. Once you've downloaded the LoopDeck software, create your LoopDeck account from the top right corner of the application. A LoopDeck account will allow you to manage your plugin licenses and subscriptions. OBS Studio requires an additional WebSocket plugin that will allow remote control devices to connect to it via the WebSocket. Download and install the plugin from the link in the description of this video. Open OBS Studio. Once it's open, you should see OBS Studio actions and adjustments in the left-hand action panel. If you for some reason don't see them, restart the LoopDeck application by right-clicking on the LoopDeck icon in the systems tray, which will refresh the panel. To connect your Spotify and Twitch account, click on the cogwheel icon in the lower left corner of the application and navigate to the account section of the menu. From here, you can add your accounts. Once they've added, you can see that they're lit green if they're connected properly. You can now start working with the default profile for OBS Studio, or you can create a new one from scratch. But make sure you've connected your Twitch and Spotify accounts to that profile from the profile settings. Once you've done that, you can see the Twitch and Spotify commands in the left-hand action panel. Next, you can start customizing your profile. The default profile has most needed workspaces, pages and commands already pre-assigned. By default, it has workspaces for streaming, Spotify and so on. You can edit each workspace and create new ones. The stream workspace is three pages by default. On the device, you can access other pages by swiping on the touchscreen or pressing the blue page link buttons. All assignable commands and workspaces are displayed on the left-hand action panel. They can be dragged onto the device elements. Press actions can be assigned to the touchscreen buttons, the round buttons, and the dial buttons. Rotation adjustments can be assigned to the dials. You can, for example, add different workspaces to the round buttons, different scenes and sources to the touchscreen, and your microphone or desktop volume to the dials. LoopDeck Live is context-aware, meaning that it will switch profiles dynamically based on the currently open software. To lock a profile, for example when live streaming, use the Lock Profile action. Assign it to any of the conveniently located buttons. By default, you can find it on the first page or the home page.